Jew in New York. Like everybody else, I wasn't a Jew until I came to New York. In Portland, Oregon, the other day, a young Latina came up to me and asked if I were Jew Eureka. <laughs> Papa and Bubby came from the Ukraine, landed in Brooklyn, settled in Harlan, Kentucky, and named my father Benjamin Franklin. My mother, the offspring of a coal miner, married Ben, the only Jew in town. He didn't last. Ma remarried. In kindergarten in Cincinnati, instead of moving to the afternoon session the second semester, I stayed in mourning and changed my name. This is the year 5762. Chinese, year of the dog. I just learned that the time between I just learned that the time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are called the days of awe. Moody and gray with dashes of absolute clarity. I love these days. Cleansing summer sweat from the streets of New York. I always think the year begins in September. That's when school starts. A whole <laughs> over from youth. And this year, for the first time, woo, I think it's the real new year. And I am a real Jew. A real Jew and a real coal miner's son, too. into hats, and I told him that this hat came from a store on 37th Street, and uh, he liked that because uh, it's actually, for people who wear hats, we know we have a seasonal shift going on right now, and it being unseasonably warm today, which is a great thing, I'm wearing my, my, my summery kind of chapeau over here, from Uruguay. Now, he also was aware of JJ Hats, which is another fine emporium which specializes in the Borsalino 100% beaver hat, which is much favored by Hasidic Jews. Uh, well, anyway, I'm keeping that on reserve for the gig I'm about to do next week at uh, his, his place. So. All that is to say that uh, it's wonderful to be here in the middle of Chinatown and also <laughs> to see that Chinatown hasn't really quite encroached enough to stamp out uh, this great bastion of, of, of Jewish culture here on Eldred Street.